Um, this shaft was bent really bad. This is the this is a throughput shaft that runs the um, that runs the two bevel gears on a climax, and it was it was smashed pretty bad on shipping. So I've been taking this truck apart and and uh, trying to get all the get everything trued back up and get all the axles straight. And this one was bent. <laughs> oh gosh, a good six seven degrees right in the middle of it and i got it all perfect from the center out and realized that i still have like maybe five thousandths or so this one ends it actually has two bends in it so it had a slight bend on this last um where this where the bevel gear slips on the end of the shaft plus the big bend in the middle so i figured i would just do a quick video of the rest of it because i'm close now i'm at uh yeah, I'm at le less than five thousands here. But I just I didn't see very much stuff on YouTube of people showing how to uh, how to straighten shafts, especially a small shaft like this. Like someone might have a hard to find part, or um, or a helicopter main shaft. You could do the same thing. But I usually don't straighten my helicopter main shafts because I don't think it's worth all the time it takes to straighten one. I just buy another one usually, unless it's. Uh, Unless it's just, I know it's a simple bend where it's just in one, one spot. But uh, let's see here. Where are we at? So I want to go this side. I want that side to be zero. Okay. So now I am... Uh, Starn light is so bright. All right, maybe that'll help show up a little better. I tried to get a nice mount for the camera to hold it, but it's over top of my lathe. There's just no good way for me to mount it. So we're at four thousandths. So I lay this down away, turn this away at the furthest distance down, and pull it back the two thousandths. And again, you got to hold it. You got to pull it dead, dead nuts up towards the indicator. No movement yet. We're going right back to zero. Still nothing. Ah, I moved a little bit. Half a thousandth. I'm so far away. There's a thousandth. I probably so now I should be at about two two and a half thousandths. That's almost four. Yeah, that's probably about. Three. It's about three thousandths. So get that, get that at the low point again. Now nah, we're still at, still at three thousandths. So I haven't really moved it much. That image looks a little bit better there. Make sure I pull that straight up. There's one thousandth. Let's see if I can go one and a half here. over one let's see what let's see what that looks like yeah that's pretty good less than a thousandth now okay we're getting there patience patience yeah, it's about a thousandth so now I want to split that difference see that moved on me already I don't know if that's true It's still a thousandth. I don't know if maybe I wasn't pulling straight up. Where am I at here now? Huh? I saw it move that time. I think I kept that. Almost, almost perfect. 
by half a thousandth. So let's see here. Let's be a little more accurate here. So I'll take it to, uh, I'll bend it up to, to 25. That was 24. What's that do? <laughs> Try 20 this time. And that didn't move it, so we'll have to. Well, it took a lot of fussing, fussing and uh, a lot of patience, but I did get this center shaft dead straight. <laughs> Got like no movement on the needle all the way out at the end. Let's see here if we can see the needle move at all. Uh uh. I'm gonna put a little pressure on it here. Yeah, nah, it's just nice and straight so now I'll go through and take the other uh, take the other truck off and make sure the axles and the center center shaft are straight on that one too well one of the uh, on the truck that was crushed one of the axles spun perfect so I don't think I got bent at all and uh, this is the the other truck, you can see it's out of round. I just figured I'd take a... I, I uh, dial it, indicated this end and got it pretty straight. I have it less than a half a thousand. So I've got, I've got the end of this shaft pretty good. So now I'm going to do hook it up to the... Uh, read the back of this wheel and true this up too and then see how smooth the whole thing runs. So uh, be right back. So I've already got it down to about it without the about three and a half thousandths off still. Three and a half thousandths run out. Well I'm getting there. I'm down to half about a half a thousandth. getting there try it some more try it again <laughs> it just takes a lot of patience a lot of patience yeah, I think I moved it too far that time Nope, I might have just landed at dead knots there. Pretty close. Probably about one quarter of a thousandth. How's it look like on the end here? That's pretty darn good. That's just about perfect. I could try to get rid of that quarter thousandth, but I'll, I wonder if I might do more harm. I'll try it one time, see if I can get it dead nuts perfect, but yeah, I can't even look through the camera to see the to see the needle move. Yeah, with, without run, with running it slow, the needle wasn't even moving. Nah, that's I'd say that that might just be the way it's uh that much just might be because that shaft isn't perfectly smooth, because I think I think that's perfect. Look how nice that wheel's running. Yeah, it looks good. Ta-da! <laughs> A straight uh, axle assembly. Thanks for watching.